a Rich Flex intro, I don't think people are gonna forget about this one, in my opinion. I'm wondering how 3 a.m. in Glenwood came around. Um Yo, when, when I seen the track list, I swore that was just <laughs> yeah. I was just out of that shit. That was the point. Um Damn, how the fuck I made that shit? I was already in the studio working on another song. I'm trying to think. I think it was Mo M's. Yeah, I was working on one of them other songs that's on there. And then I got done with it. Then I pulled up another beat, which was 3 a.m. beat. Then I just rap freestyle, punched in type shit. Then I sent it to him. He was like, bro, this is perfect. But at first it was called Chasing M's. And I think Measy, didn't you? You you said yeah. change the name. Was on the jet on the way here, like last week. And that was I didn't mind you, bro. I didn't, didn't hear like the album, my new little pieces, but he sent me that song like three weeks ago. Like, what you think? I'm like, bro, this shit crazy. But you know, I'm a Drake fan. So the keys, you know, OZ produced it, but the key, you know, that's that 3 a.m., 2 p.m. It sounded like a Drake, Drake song. Yeah. So on the jet, I'm like, it was called Chasing M's. I said, bro, you gotta change it to 3 a.m. on Glenwood. Trust me. He was like, shit, say less. And I ain't know even if they changed it, but when I seen the track list like everybody else, I'm like, niggas already seen that in title. And in their mind, just if you was a Drake fan, you already was like, oh, I got to jump oh, yeah, to that yeah, song. Yeah. So then when he did what he did on it, it it, it was perfect. It, it was perfect. It was perfect. Yo, 